in this problem, we need to find the zeros of a fourth degree polynomial function. And at this point, you've been through all of the work with using the rational zeros theorem and finding, testing all of those possible values to find a zero and then maybe dividing some factors out of a function and then using uh, factoring on a quadratic or the quadratic equation afterwards. Uh, and finally, we're being allowed to just use a graphing calculator. We have these great tech, technological tools now uh, to find the zeros for these functions quickly and easily just by basically typing in the function to your graphing calculator and then looking at it. So this problem will be a piece of cake. All we have to do is type this function correctly into a graphing calculator. I think I've done that here. Yeah, so uh, there is the function and you can see this graphing calculator um, just plots the zeros force already. So let's see, did it say it wanted a particular, yeah, the nearest one hundredth. So we have a zero at negative uh, 1.78. We have a zero at negative 0 0.62, a zero at 0 0.28, and a zero at 1.62. And that's all there is to it. Just jot down those answers, and those are the zeros of the function.